Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, I'm Dr. Vinayak Lekin, the founder of Search Test, and uh, I'm extremely delighted to have with me uh, Dr. Nandini Singh, who's gotten an absolutely amazing rank in uh, INESS and EMSS plastic surgery. Uh, and uh, Nandini is an extremely hardworking student, and that is something which I can vouch for her personally. Gone through a huge amount of personal struggles, and she has climbed those mountains with Elan and with East and it's an absolute pleasure to see such students performing and doing uh, extremely well. So, eh, as a teacher, I'm absolutely delighted. How do you feel, Nandini? Thank you, sir, for that introduction. Uh, really, so kind of you. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, this was a very unexpected thing. Uh, but yeah, here it is. And uh, I really thank uh, Search Test team and my parents, my siblings, my friends, and well wisher. Uh, for all this, for all the support and uh, blessings and wishes. Nandini, uh, tell us about your journey. Where did you do your UG? Where did you do your PG? Sir, uh, I did my UG from uh, JJMMC Davangiri. Okay. Uh, uh, then uh, I finished uh, 2009 back, sir. And then following that, uh, 2016, I did my PG from uh, JSS Medical College, Mysore. Uh, yes, sir. Then, uh, and uh, why plastic surgery? Sir, uh, I was always fascinated by the art and creativity this subject mm -hmm. had. So it so happened that in my second year post graduation, uh, when we have a specialty postings, I saw ear reconstruction being done by one of my professor. So that is what fascinated me a lot. So was there any specific mentor or any uh, professor you would like to thank? For inspiring you? Yes, sir. Uh, it's uh, Dr. Vijay, sir, who's a pla who, uh, during my time, he was the plastic surgeon there at uh, JSS Mysore. So, yes, definitely, I would like to thank him for that. It's, it's pretty inspiring to hear that. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, tell us, uh, how was your preparation? Like, how many hours of uh, study did you do per day? Sir, uh, I, I was doing my SR ship here in Bangalore. Uh, then I took a uh, I took a break from that so like almost four to five months I took leave totally from uh, my work and uh, it used to be so that uh, I definitely dedicated properly ten to twelve hours in a day sir sometimes even more than that as the exams were you know nearing by uh, general surgery and plastic both together like if I was totally bored with general surgery I used to switch to plastic. Or if I'm bored with plastic, I used to switch to general. That is how. Or some day, some days, you know, both both of them. Half the days general surgery and half the day plastic surgery. That is how I used to divide. I had a steady partner, sir. So that really helped when we used to discuss together. Uh, that really helped a lot because if I if I was not in mood or something, definitely you know my steady partner like would literally drag me you know you have to finish this amount of you know portion that we have dedicated for today so that really helped and uh, you yes, have to thank sir. your study partner too you forgot to thank <laughs> <laughs> no, i said my friends and well wishes everyone so <laughs> yeah just kidding yeah uh -huh. um i want you to uh i want to ask you a few questions like how did uh you narrow down upon aims uh was aims just an a, 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 a fantastic beautiful accident or was your uh, or was it the actual aim or were you actually preparing for neat ss no sir i was definitely preparing for neat ss so i would definitely term this as you said you know a beautiful accident <laughs> so it's glad so um uh yeah, i mean you are a big fan of the search test general surgery question bank uh, yes, so that sir. is something which you have uh, told me before so uh, how useful did you find it so uh, the best thing is once I used to finish general surgery from daily, once I finished a chapter, I used to, uh, it is so well organized chapter wise. Usually it so happens that the general surgery part, like the principles of general, the first uh, unit as such, uh, it's usually neglected a lot. But here I found it is so well organized. I used to finish that chapter in particular and then do that, uh, you know, test. I used to go through the test. So I found that, you know, each and every line is like just ditto as in really. Even Sabiston and Schwartz was covered. But uh, definitely the percentage of Bailey that is covered is more. 
so i really loved you know giving those tests and all and i'm so thankful to you that on my request you even extended the uh, you know the time period the validity for the test uh, and uh, i'm so thankful to you so that you're so supportive to students you understand what struggle the struggles they are going through and what why however like you know uh, what uh, problems they are facing and uh, definitely money is never a thing that is what i really love about search test and you are so so helpful oh thank you so much no my no this was supposed to be an interview uh, praising you so i i'm kind of impressed right now uh, <clears throat> So uh, uh, I also think you found the plastic surgery video lectures also useful. Yes, sir. yes, sir. It was uh, <laughs> once I went to the sample video that was very, very, um, I mean, helpful. I found it very like, kind of you know, um, uh, sir who taught us like uh, uh, that was very helpful. Even yeah, uh, interview point of view, I found it very helpful, sir. Oh, thank you so much, Nandini. Uh, so Nandini, uh, three years in AIMS. not going to be uh, a bit of process so are you apprehensive or are you excited sir both <laughs> moving to <laughs> to delhi a bit anxious also a new place and everything would be new uh, but yeah i think uh, delhi is going to help you in a lot of ways uh, a fresh start uh, and uh, uh, i think i think delhi is going to change you in many ways than one um so where do you look upon yourself uh, five years down the line so i have really not thought about all that once i enter the stream you know then maybe <clears throat> things will be sorted uh, uh, so we have to decide sir so okay so uh, nandini is yet to decide what what kind of plastic surgeon she wants to be uh, so we are pretty excited for her so i have one very last question for you uh, what advice would you give um need ss uh, uh, or aims as his aspirants sir hard work and consistency definitely this will get you through anything and i would definitely recommend revision sir as much revisions you can i literally did like four to five times uh, michigan manual was the thing that i referred for plastic surgery uh, yes and other than that i also had like whatever mcqs that i went through sir i used to make important notes like whatever points the potential mcqs that are i used to make notes of them so in the end the day before the exam i just you know i always flipped through those pages so that was very helpful to me so yes so you use michigan manual and any other any other book so plastic key notes and then uh, grab and smith uh, you know tables and uh, all the pictures of that book yeah. and few important uh, uh, chapters from that okay. Now you had a pretty comprehensive preparation. Not many, to be honest, not many people who are aspiring for plastic surgery uh, go through such a competitive or such a comprehensive preparation. And I think uh, your hard work really paid off. And uh, um, you know, uh, I have a lot of people asking me about uh, to mentor them about plastic surgery. And uh, I right now I know uh, who to go, where to guide them to because I know Nandini is going to give them a, a solid piece of advice. So uh, we are really glad to have you with us, Nandini. And uh, before I finish off, so I promise that will be the last question. But there's one more question. How do you motivate yourself? You've been through a lot in your life. You've surmounted many obstacles. Uh, so what motivates you at the end of the day? What makes you get up and uh, pick up the books? Sir, I would give all this credit yes. to my mom because whenever I felt so down, she was the one who showed me. See, there are people who are in a worse position than you. this is nothing so just you know thank for what you have in your life and just keep moving you'll never know if there's something bad that has happened definitely there is something good so it's like uh, you know waves at the sea shore there's always ups and down so never bog yourself down so that is what sir uh, you you really are an inspiration to me uh, i know you have thanked us quite a bit but i must really thank you uh for giving me this opportunity to talk to you thank you so much sir the entire thank surgeon team and the you. plastic surgery faculty and the general surgery faculty i thank uh, uh you in behalf of all of them thank you so much thank you sir thank you and the whole team of surgeons thank you so much